Hey everybody, it's Herc Magnus again, and in today's video, we are going to cover building and assigning schema using Project Supremacy V3. So one thing this video is not gonna be is a video to teach you about what schema is and what are the best type of schemas to use on your site. For that, you can just access any of our webinars at v3.projectsupremacy.com slash webinars. And there is a searchable box there of all the past training webinars where we teach in higher level detail uh, about that kind of subject matter. So what this video is going to cover is just to teach you to learn how to use the schema tool and how everything works and all the features and functions of it. So this is basically what you're going to see when you first load your schema editor and that's under the schema tab and you're going to select a type of schema that you want to build for a specific site. So a lot of people build local business schema because they wanna get the star ratings for their business. So that's what we're gonna use as our example. So if you know the type of schema that you wanna use, you could just start typing that in into the box on the top left here, and we can see that that's local business schema type. So if you double click it, it will change the box on the right to the local business schema and it will list all of its properties. So you, as you can see, there's quite a few properties within the local business schema, but you don't have to use them all. You only need to use the ones that you're comfortable using. And in order to add things um, to this, all you have to do is click on the plus button and it will load up the next function for you to use. So some of them are gonna be nested schemas. So the two examples that I loaded here are additional type property for local business schema in which you simply have to type something, okay? And then the description of the property is always gonna be above it, as well as the description of the top level schema is going to be listed as well. So this type, when you see the folder, the pen and the plus sign um, with a property value, means it's a nested schema, meaning you have to create another schema type in order to insert it into this one. And when it's just a form, all you have to do is type in uh, the, the form, um, whatever it might be. It might be a URL or it might be some information like a description or something like that. So those are gonna be your two different types of schema types, forms that you fill in or nested schemas that will open up a new schema. So first thing that I'm going to do, <clears throat> okay, we're gonna delete the ones that we uh, opened up there and I'm gonna fill in the address of our business. So there's a couple of way that I can find address. I can press control F on my keyboard and then just search for address and there you can see it, it fires it up. So with our address, we actually have two types of schemas. We can choose text, okay, which is simply a form and we would type in the address. So I could put in something like 123 Cherry Lane, Edmonton, Alberta, okay and then some postal code, maybe T4N1D4 or something like that. So you could fill out an address like that. Or um, if you have a postal address, what you would do is instead of filling out the address like this, you would select the postal address type. So for postal, if you choose postal address, it does become a nested schema. So I will show you how to edit the nested schema. It's gonna be the exact same as what we're doing right here, except it will open the address schema type um, in a new window. So you just click the blue button, okay? And that will load up a new screen. And then once again, it'll give you this time the postal address schema where you will fill out certain fields and then save it. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna do address country and we're gonna do Canada. Uh, there's our postal code. So we can say T4X1B2. Okay, and then we'll leave that one street address. We'll actually add that, 123 Cherry Lane. Okay, and URL. So that's pretty much good. We'll just leave those schema types there. Um, the other thing to note is this little eyeglass will show you the ones that you have filled out and hide the ones that you don't. So it's a quick way to just look at, okay, what's the information that I did supply? So right now I have 123 Cherry Lane, Canada, and a postal code. I don't have a city. So what we can do, or a town, so what we can do is actually look for something like that in here to see if it's if it has it. And we have a street address, we have a country, we have an area served, um, address region, address locality. So there we go, address locality would probably be the best thing. And I'll say Edmonton, okay, and then uh, for the region, I'll actually say Alberta. 
Okay, so then when we view our schema type again, you can see we have Canada, Edmonton, Alberta. So that becomes a full address. So once that's done, we can name it, okay? Always have to name your schema before you save it. So this is gonna be our um, Edmonton address. And we know it's an address already because it's called postal address schema. So I'll click save and use schema. Okay, so that closes. And now you can see it's filled in with the Edmonton schema type. So that's a nested schema and I'll show you what that means in a second. Now, if you ever wanna edit um, any nested schemas, you can click on this orange button and it will bring up the schema that you're using so that you can edit the nested schema. And if you've already built a bunch of other schemas within the same website um, and you wanna select a certain location, you can simply click the folder Okay, and it will show you all the locations that you've built schema for. So for right now, we just have Edmonton, but if I had built like Calgary and Toronto and Montreal and Vancouver, um, those would also show and then you just select uh, the proper one. So um, what I'll do now is just fill in the rest of the schema types um, and then I'll come back on the video and show you what it looks like completely filled out with the forms. Okay, so we're back and I've filled out all the properties that I want to use. So you can see we have uh, an embedded address and embedded aggregate rating. And aggregate rating is an important one because you have to have aggregate rating in order to populate the stars within the Google search engine. So I'm not gonna talk much about that. Um, once again, you can search the webinars to see how that all works. Um, and what I'll do actually is I'll just show you the little eyeball. I'll just hide everything that I didn't use. So we used address, aggregate rating, description, an email, a logo, the name of the business, the price range of the business. Uh, same as markup would be links to your web 2.0 profile. So for instance, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, um, Instagram, all those, the telephone number and the URL of the business. So once those are all filled out and you're happy with it, make sure that you give your um, schema a name. So we're gonna call this CDE Music because we're building it for the cdemusic.org website. And then you have to specify what site you wanna save that schema for. So the miscellaneous folder is for when you wanna just build certain schemas that you'd like to use later on. You can save it, save it in the miscellaneous folder. So I'll actually go ahead and do that now. And then I'm gonna go ahead and save that schema. And now on the bottom left pane, you can see this miscellaneous folder. And if I open that up, okay, we have an aggregate rating and a local business uh, schema type. So if I open up uh, that, we can see there's our postal address in Edmonton. Um, so there's our schema built and treed out for us. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually move this schema because since um, the schema is actually done, we do wanna move it to a site. So all we have to do in order to move that to a site is select the schema. Okay, so we're gonna select um, the local business schema and we are going to select the cdemusic.com domain and then we're going to save that schema and watch the left window here. You can see now we've moved that local business into the CDE music folder. So that's the very, very basics of how you will be building schemas. And next we're gonna talk about how to assign the schema that you built over to your website. Okay, so once again, our schema is built. So here it is. Um, I've moved it out of the miscellaneous folder completely into the cdemusic.org folder, which means that schema is going to be specific to that particular domain. And you can see our nested levels of schema. There is one more thing that I do want to show you, and that's what the actual schema that you built actually looks like, what you're actually going to be injecting into your website. So all you have to do in order to see your schema is load the top level schema. So those are the blue buttons. Okay, and click on it, and it will load the local business CDE music um, schema type. Okay, and then all you have to do is click render schema, and that will bring up a JavaScript type thing um, that looks like a lot of coding. But what this is, this is called JSON LD schema, and this is what you're actually going to insert into your pages so that Google can quickly uh, understand what your website is about. Schema is a great thing, and if you don't know much about it, you should definitely research it more. But now that the schema is built and you can see how easy it was to build, just filling in a few forms to create uh, the schema. Next, we have to assign the schema. So what we're gonna do to assign our schema is we're gonna go over back to our websites tab. Okay, and we're gonna load up the website manager for the site we wanna put the schema on, which is cdemusic.org. Alternatively, if you have a lot of sites, you can just start typing um, the letters of the domain and it will load up. Then we'll open up the manage website function and we're gonna head over to this tab called schemas, okay? 
And what it will do is it will automatically set itself up to load the schema from the URL that you built it on. So you can see CDE music is here. So it auto selects that and then it loads the schema types that you've built. Now, in order to apply that schema to any per particular page on your website, um, you just have to load it. So we divide it up like this. There's schemas that go on the home page of your site and then there's schemas that can go on individual URLs of the site. So I'll show you both. We want to load our local business schema onto the home page so we can see the left side is the schemas available to us and the right side is the actual page that we're going to be working on. So all I have to do to assign this schema to this page is click the button and you can see local business schema is now assigned to the home page of cdemusic.org and I click save changes and that is now done. That schema was actually injected into that blog for us. Now, if we want to take it one level deeper and actually check the schema and see how things look on the Google Structured Data Testing tool, we can actually head into that tool. So we would just type in Google Structured Data Testing Tool, search for that on Google, and here it is. And then we're going to take the URL of our homepage of our site, okay, and we're going to enter that into the Structured Data Testing Tool, and we will run the test. And what this is going to do is look for any schema. So you can see it did find a local business schema. And then what we'll do is we'll click on the first entry in the Google Structured Data Testing tool. Okay. And it will highlight, you can see there it's highlighted the type is a local business. Okay. And here is our schema. If I, this is actually the HTML code of our entire page. And the highlighted section is where that schema is found. So if I go from here to here, okay, what we can see, actually there's one more line, what we can see is there's a HTML comment saying project supremacy schema.org and there's a closing comment saying project supremacy schema.org. That is the schema that was generated by project supremacy and here is the script and it's actually the exact same content that you saw on the schema editor if we go back over here and we load up our local business schema to render and preview it. Okay, there's the code. And here is that same code injected into our site. So now we know for certain that our schema is injected in our site. And we do see some errors, but I talk in the webinars about how to troubleshoot your schema and make sure you're getting error free schema and stuff like that. Um, but this web video once again is just to show you how to build and assign the schema. So what we're going to do is go back to our website and this time we're going to assign schema to a specific page on the site. So in order to assign sp uh, schema to a specific page, you actually have to have a specific page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and create a new post or page for this site that we can assign the schema to. So here we go. We're going to load all the um, posts and pages that are on the site at the moment. So there we go. I'm going to add a new one. And I'm just going to call it our first page and then we can supply a URL, our first page. And then this will be our first page content. Okay. So all I'm going to do is put that in as a published um, page. Okay. And we can choose whether it's going to be a post or a page and I'll just choose a page and I'm going to click on create and that will go ahead and create a new page for us on our WordPress site. But if we want to take a look at it, we can actually log in. You can see it successfully created that. So we can actually log into our site. So I'm going to use the direct admin login just to show you that that page did, did in fact get created. Okay, so I just synchronized the domain there. That's what that is. And now it's going to log into the WordPress back end of that site. And we're going to go look at our pages. Okay, and there's our first page. So we actually have a URL um, for that. So now what we're gonna do is assign schema to that particular URL. So we're gonna go back here, we're gonna go over to our schemas, okay? And this time, instead of loading the home page schema, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this browse pages button, okay? And it's going to load up all the posts and pages of our site and where we'll be able to find the new one. Okay, let me just get rid of this. Let me load that again. Okay, so there's our first page and I'm gonna select this page to add schema to. So when I select it, you can see there's the page that we're now working on on the right side 
and it's looking for schemas that are on it, but it doesn't find any. So in order to assign it, all we have to do once again is select it, add it to the page and save changes. So the last function that I want to show you um, with our schema builder is what's called our schema duplicator. And this is a really useful tool for people who don't know what types of schema to use, but they see a result in Google that they like. And then you can check to see if there's schema involved in getting that result. So what I'm going to do is I'll head over to Google. I'm going to type in a keyword, how to learn guitar. Okay. And in the search, we'll see a couple nice things. We'll see this little rich snippet box showing up first. Okay, that's usually a schema generated result. And another one that's really interesting, as you can see these star ratings with an 84% and 57 votes. So what we can do is if we suspect that this URL has schema because of the result that it's got in Google, the stars, what we can actually do is take the URL of the site that has the listing in Google, come back and we can open up our schema duplicator and we're gonna put in the website, okay? of the schema that we want to take and we're going to put in a name for the schema so this one we could call you know um get how to learn guitar i guess because that was the keyword we used how to learn guitar okay and then we want to save that schema group to either a website or our miscellaneous folder so let's run the duplicator and check this url to see if it finds anything and it's very very fast obviously so you can see it did detect a schema type and it found an article schema type. So we want to duplicate that. So what I'm going to do is click on the schema type that uh, we want to duplicate. And if it found multiple schema types, it would actually show you all the schema types it found. And you could select all, some, or none of the schema. But we're going to select the article and we're going to click on proceed. And you can see how fast that is. It was a success. And now down here in our saved schemas, I'm going to open up the miscellaneous folder and you can see there is the article schema that was duplicated from this website. So you don't even have to know what their schema was. We can check it um, with the duplicator. So what I'll do is open it up and you can see there's how to learn guitar schema and you can see there's all kinds of embedded schemas um, and even triple embedded, uh, triple in embedded and quadruple embedded schemas there's all types so a very very complex level of schema but the nice thing is because you know they got such a great result in google you can literally clone their schema and then all you'd have to do in order to use this schema for any of your articles is click on each blue schema result you can see um, things are either in gray which means that's the schema type and then the blue one is the clickable editable schema property so you would click on that then you would hide the stuff they didn't use and you'd be able to see all the stuff that they did. Now all you have to do is swap out their content for your own content, save the schema and apply it to the site or the URL that you wanna get that same result in Google from. So um, once you're done making all the edits, save it and then use the same assigning functions that I showed you earlier. And you can literally um, get the same results in Google with complex level schema. So it's a way to kind of borrow the authority and the professionality of people who are building great schema on their sites. And you can literally just take their structures, use your own information, save it, and then assign it. And then you can use that schema as well. So, but I once again want to refer you over to this URL project supremacy v3 um, v3 dot project supremacy dot com slash webinars and all these replays that you see below are the weekly trainings that we have um, teaching how to do things so if you want to learn about schema just head over to this search tab right here and then you could just type in the word schema and you can see that we have absolutely tons of links and topics where we actually talk and teach about schema so you can actually just click on these YouTube links and it'll take you right to the time within the YouTube video where we're talking about each individual thing. So there's a lot of great resources there available to you um, for you to learn how to use schema. So uh, that's going to be it for today's video. We're going to cover more about schema tomorrow or the next day on those videos. And that's going to deal with how to collect reviews and how we can do that with Project Supremacy as well. So. Once again, thanks for watching the video. We love your comments and questions. You can leave those on the comment box below this video and we'll see you guys in the next video.